Hi, today I want to show you quite of a big update for the OpenAI API, so-called function calling. This is a new way to more reliably connect GPT's capabilities with external tools and APIs. The new models have been fine-tuned to both detect when a function needs to be called, depending on the user's input, and to respond with JSON that adheres to the function signature. To use this functionality, you have to use the GPT-4-0613 or GPT-3.5 Turbo 0613 models. I will show you how to do this. Let's think of a fictional example where we run a restaurant and users can get information about our food. I'm currently in PyCharm and to make it work you have to install the OpenAI package with pip install OpenAI. After installing it we have to import the OpenAI package and also the JSON package which we need for the kind of functionality we want to build. After importing the packages we have to set an API key. I will of course delete the API key after the video. Then we just create a function called get pizza info with a single parameter, the pizza name. And this would be normally a database query where we want to get the price for this pizza here. We have just no uh, database, so we just return it as a mocked object. And we use json.dumps to just return a string and no dictionary from this function. After this, I will create a function called run conversation, which takes care of the API call to OpenAI. It takes a single parameter, the query, the question we want to ask, and then we create the normal API call with OpenAI and then the chat completion class and create the API call. We have to pass in the model and be careful, you have to pass the correct model, the newest model, other older models are not able to use this kind of functionality. And then you have to pass in a messages array or a list with a role called user and then the content will be the query, so the question we want to send. So far so standard, but in addition we can now send a functions array here and we can pass in multiple functions which the model will identify by a name and a description. As you can see the name corresponds to our function name here and the description is important to let OpenAI know if this defined function here is suitable to get the information the user want to have. In addition to the name and the description, we also have to pass some parameters here. And for example, these properties here have to match the input of the function. So this has to be a string. So we say type is string and also the description, for example, the name of a pizza. We also have to let OpenAI know if one parameter is required, for example, this pizza name is required because we don't have a default value here, so we have to set it to required. Okay, after that we have to set the function call to auto, so GPT will automatically call the function if it's suited to answer the question. Okay, that's it, and the response will be stored in the response variable, and we will just retrieve the choices object here, the first element, because this is a list, and then retrieve the key message, and I will show you how it looks like. Then we run the function, for example, uh, what is the capital of France? This is not some kind of function we, that is suited for our get pizza info function. So this should not use the function. And I will show you how the output looks like. We just print it here. And if we run it, python simple.py, we can see we get back role assistant and content the capital of France is Paris. Okay, now let's try to ask what is the price of pizza salami, so something pizza related, and this should now look different. And yeah, as you can see, the content is null, so we don't get content back here, but we get a function call back. And as you can see, this is a dictionary with a name and also some arguments. So now what we know, if the model thinks a function call is suited, we will get this function call object back and we can use this in the code to make a follow-up call. For example, we could do it like, like this. We say if message.get, so if there is a function call object here, then we can first retrieve the function name with this just here get pizza info. And we can also retrieve the function response by actually calling this get pizza info function and then we get the pizza name back from the message here. And now we can create a follow-up call to OpenAI with the same model here. 
And again, we pass in a messages array. And first we use role user and the content again will be the query, which we're gonna input here. And we also pass in the messages list here with the role assistant, content null, and also this function call object. And now as additional information, we also pass in this dictionary with a role called function. This is completely new and we have to pass the name of the function and also the content of this function, which will be the function response, which we call here with our function. Okay, then we can just return the second response. So if we have got this uh, function call object here, we will make a second call. And if not, we will just return the message from the first call. So let's run this. So Python simple.py. What is the price of pizza salami? And then we can see we get, we get back here our output, which contains the model choices, and this is the relevant content. So the price of pizza salami is 10.99. So as you can see, this is really helpful for building applications with a custom backend, for example. Okay, that's it with this little introduction. If you liked the video, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.